Eamon Khan here, four seconds out with Tasha Jonas in Manchester, heading towards January 20th. Tasha, Happy New Year. Good to see you. Good to see your uh, hands wrapped and ready for a session heading towards the big fight. How's life? It's good. All the best. Um, yeah, it was a, a bit of a different Christmas, but it was Christmas nonetheless, and I enjoyed it. Forgive me for not knowing, how many of these Christmas camps have you had? Is it difficult to you know have Christmas around a big fight approaching? Um, it can be. It's more so like, you know, at the end of the year for most for most boxers and, you know, they like taper on off and they'll start to get in the new year. So it's more the getting the sparring partners in. Then there's, you know, the babies back in school and all bugs are flying around. So it's more about keeping yourself like um, bug free, germ free and, and being able to pull up our sparring partners in, which is always hard at the end of the year. Well, it's good to see that you've kept yourself free of that so far. Touch wood, uh, those don't afflict you heading into the fight because you've got uh, Michaela Mayer in the opposite corner. Just from your own words, your own scout report on Michaela. I was asking Jack the same sort of thing, but where do you feel you'll have the challenges in the ring against her? Um, I think, you know, she's a well-schooled, uh, good, good IQ. Um, you know, it puts the shots together well, good work rate. Um, so... You know, I just prepare for the best version of that. You know, some fights have you've seen a, a bit more of other things. Um but yeah, I just I just prepare for every best eventuality that she, that I believe that she can bring and, and yeah, put myself my best foot forward as well. In terms of outside the ring and heading towards the, the fight, um you and Michaela I would just watch the head to head on the way in. Um and it's been Nice, it's been respectful, uh, but Michaela has been no stranger to wanting to bite and maybe wanting to try and get under fighter skin in the past. But do you feel there'll be any of that in the in the lead up? No, not really. I think you know, there's, there's nothing but respect because you know we both believe that the other ones are a good fighter, um, and it's not necessarily we don't always always need that. Mm. Um, but I'm sure she'll pop up with with, with things. Um, I know she popped up about three minutes, but it, that was genuine. I'd, I'd never been explained anything other. Um she popped up about the high growing guard. Um which again is just something that's like a maybe a bit of a design flaw because they're predominantly designed for men. Mm. Um and no matter how small the guard is, if it was if it was the small guard which I started with, then the the band of the 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 shorts pops over it. And so I bought the bigger guard so it'd all stay in place, but then it's got like flaps on, which mm. pops up, up above my hips because they've, they're have made for men with no hips. Mm. Um, so it, it just it just is what it is. I'm sure she'll pop up with something else, but yeah, I just, you know, I'll take it. So yeah, it's all, it's all just, yeah, a bit of banter. A bit of banter indeed. And um, we'll get into the things that she popped up into uh, in a second. Uh, I just wonder where you feel, do you feel that you have the advantage over who the weight is suiting more with Michaela, you know, being recent at this weight? Yeah, I just think everything that she does, um, that I do better. Mm -hmm. That that That's it. Um, you know, I, I think, yeah, it, whatever she can bring to the table, whether she wants to fight or box, whatever, whatever it is, I'm just better at it. And that's, that's it. <laughs> was there a discussion about the potential of this being um, three-minute rounds? There was a, a discussion after she, she'd she made the comment. Okay. Um, and we went away and I spoke to, to, to Boxer and, you know, there's not going to be an increase in pay. So I don't mm. see why I should do an increase in minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't, it, it looks like it's off the table now. Just to play with that for a moment, putting the pay aside, do you feel that three minutes suits you well yeah I, I do genuinely think uh, a couple of my results may have changed if, if there was a third minute um but yeah the the the, the side and factor is well, you're going to do more work and be in there more time are you going to get paid more for it and the answer was no so yeah it's a, i mean i fully support the likes of serrano who who are you know championing the three minutes and i'm wanting it to be fair but they're also getting uh, financially rewarded for that we've heard they recently say you know she earns a million pounds or what a million dollars whatever it was mm. um and yeah great great for her but that wasn't the same it wasn't going to be the same thing for me so speaking of popping up there was a third pop-up from Michaela Mayer and she mentioned about the rematch clause now mm. I will say I thought your reasoning for it uh, stood credibility but boxing fans they don't like rematch clauses whatsoever but in your own words is it a lack of trust that you have maybe in, in the judges to, to want to put that rematch clause, to have that buffer in the event that you fall 
uh, along the wrong side of a close decision where you feel like you should get the victory. Yeah, and, uh, and like like I said in in the thing, you sh- you've sh- we've seen it happen. Mm. Like I I wholeheartedly b- I believe I beat Terry Harper mm. and I didn't get the decision. Mm. Um, then we see you know her and Baumgartner. I genuinely believe she won. Um, she didn't get the decision. And then more recently than that, we see you know um, Sandy Ryan. And Jess McCaskill, again, I believe Sandy won quite clear. She doesn't get the decision. And then there's other, you know, ones in the, in the men's as well. You know, Taylor Cattrall being the most notable that I can think of right now. Um, but, you know, wrong people do get the decision, And uh, in my opinion. And, yeah, I just wanted to give myself a security blanket for that. I don't see, you might not like it. I mean, yeah, they might not like it, but it's it's... I don't do it for them. <laughs> Fair enough. You have your own goals and perspectives. Tasha, just to widen the scope and box in, get your thoughts on a couple of things. And you'd be forgiven if you wouldn't want to touch on the subject because it's a developing subject and um, there's a lot more developments to be made for it. But there's um, an uproar or at least an issue going on regarding transgender boxing and being allowed to box. I wonder if you have an opinion on it as to um, what the potential future could be uh, regarding the latest developments with um, organisations putting in protocols to allow for the possibilities of transgender fights happening in the future? To be honest, it's an issue that's popped up before. I think I said this in a previous interview. Um, that <clears throat> we had a a born male competing in one of the world championships mm. um, and a good male. Um, so there was a, a, a junior, a, I think they won the junior Olympics. Mm. And they uh, obviously made the change and they was competing in the women's world championships, and um, I don't think they made the medal stages. But it, it's an issue that we've faced before. Personally, I think that there shouldn't be a barrier in sport, mm. and that everyone should be able to compete. Mm. But I also think it's got to be fair. Mm. Um, and I'm not. I'm not no doctor. I'm not. You know, I. I don't really know the whole situation but from what I understand you know if you if you're a born male that's been through puberty then you have physiological advantages over born females mm-hmm. um, and and once you've been through puberty you've already got them advantages so um, you know all the safeguarding things I see you know you have to be on treatment for this long you have to your levels have to test for this long that that kind of doesn't still make it fair if you're you know your mass or your, your you know whatever it is 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 increased and, and more you know your muscle mass is more than a female's it doesn't make it fair so yes i believe i think the wbc did a great thing um by introducing a transgender category um and that again does just on the f- basis of making it fair mm. you know um i think we has females especially in this country and i know in other countries as well of um broken down so many barriers and 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 um trying to make this sport something that is for us to be able to achieve in and you know um yeah just to I, I just think I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> I just think, you know, we've we've made so many steps forward um and I think this this could be a step back if 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 it's allowed, if it's allowed, I, I think that you know, born males may take up the um, the the dreams and the medals of of born females, and that's not right. I understand. I really appreciate your response there. Um, again, developing situation, and I myself don't stand as someone who fully knows the the science behind it all. Like I said, it's very much developing, and we'll see, you know, more unfold further on in the future regarding that topic. Moving on to another hot button topic, at least it was for Clarissa Shields when some sparring footage leaked of Clarissa being knocked down when she was sparring a male. I just wonder what your thoughts were on, on that situation and, and and sparring footage getting leaked. And it seems to have been happening a lot more recently, at least towards the tail end of back in the last year. But what, what did you think of that when you saw that? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of um, sparring footage being filmed for one. Mm. Um, I understand sometimes it has to for either yourself or your opponent to work on stuff. I, I get that. Um, but two, to release it is a bit, is it, is a bit, mm. yeah, it's a bit like snide. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not the type of thing 
I think is a good thing. But, you know, I, I sometimes when you make bold statements, um, they, they, they can come back and bite you. And she does make bold statements about, you know, fighting men. Mm. Um, and, 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 and it's come back to bite her. I think that's why I, I, can, I, I can see why it was released because of the bold statements she was making. But then this goes again back to the point we made before mm. about, you know, the, the levels in, in no matter, you know, I, I know they were, they were good, um, boxers within themselves on, on the way up, but, you know, men and female competing. I, I, I train with men, I spar with men. I do believe that brings me on, but we can, in that foot, just see the physiological difference. Mm. Um, and yeah, she, 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 she went down and it was a good shot. Um, I'm sure she'll appreciate the shot. Um, and we didn't, we, we didn't see, you know, the stuff before that she, that she talks about, about, you know, maybe her getting the better of, 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 of him before. Um, sorry, I don't know who it was that she was sparring. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. But yeah, I just don't, I just, it's not, it's not the type of thing I'm, I'm really into sparage footage being leaking, leaked. Um, I think it's like a little ratty thing to do. A couple of fun things before I let you go. I can see Joe's trying to get warm. I know that you'll be trying to get warm as well too with uh, the workout that you're going to have heading into the fight. Um, Callum Smith uh, looks to dethrone Artur Potebiev over in Canada. A lot of people picking Callum as being more than just an outside chance of getting the victory. Are you picking him to win? I am, yeah. I've been training alongside him in, in the strength and conditioning. He's looking sharp. He's looking strong. Um, yeah, and he's looking he's looking really good on the runs as well. You know, I think he's under no illusion that it's going to be an, an easy fight. It's 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 probably, it, it's more than likely that one, someone won't see the, the final bell. Um, Katie Taylor uh, avenged her defeat to Chantal Cameron again towards the back end of last year Katie Taylor still on the radar for you? Yeah definitely I think you know I, I can't, if people are saying oh 147 that's your weight no it isn't <laughs> you know I can, I can definitely go back down um, and that was the plan all along I was just here because that's where the opportunities was my plan was always to come back down um, I would love to be in that conversation um, you know I think she in her uh, last fight against Chantal, she kind of did, it was like a role reversal. Everything that Chantal did to her in the first fight, she did to Chantal in the mm -hmm. second. Um, I'm, I'm, I I was one of them people, I had hold my hands up, that I didn't think she had it in her, okay. and, and and she did. Um, there was, a, a, you know, things within the fight, you know, what, should the knockdown have been counted? I believe it, it should have. Does it change the fight? Not for my scorecard, no. Um, but yeah, there's, 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 there's still things, you know, she's still got it in her. She's still a great champion. And she's still, you know, the 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 one that we're all chasing. When you say you felt you, that she didn't have it in her, what was it you felt that was missing? I just thought after the, the performance of Chantal's, after Chantal's first performance, you know, she, um, she kind of, I don't want to say bullied her, but she kind of did. She had it her own way. Um, she, when she was trading, she was out gunning her. She was out fighting her. She was out boxing her. Um, and I didn't think that Katie still had it in the physically and mentally to turn that round because you know that was Katie's big night, and I don't know, I didn't know if she could still perform like that under the pressure, and she proved me wrong. And lastly, I'll leave the final word with you, Tasha. What happens in your fight January twentieth against Michaela Mayer? I win. It's that simple. Jack's back in your by knockout. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's big, it's, it's big talk. Um, I'd love that. You know, if them opportunities arise, you'd be stupid not to take them. Um, but as it goes, yeah, I win. That's it. Actually, all the best. Thanks for the text out. Nice.